Hey everybody, it is Kim. Do you happen to have curtains that have triple pleats like that, that you just don't like at all? They look old fashioned and you really think that you need new curtains instead. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to make those triple pleats look something more modern and it doesn't really take much work at all. So your first thought might be, why don't I just buy new curtains? Um, the problem is, is that all of our windows are super big and we have tried putting new curtains on these rods that have the pulley system and it's just not working. The pulley system isn't working and to replace them or to have them custom made is going to cost at least $2,000 or more in order to get new curtains with a new fabric. Um, and that's just insane. So first I want to try to see if I can get rid of the pleats because the pleats are the things that I hate the most um, that just, irks me about these curtains. The color is the second thing, and that's gonna be a new video, because um, I'm gonna try to paint them and see how that works. Now, if the paint doesn't work, I'm gonna actually have to just get custom-made curtains that is gonna fit our room. But in order to see if I can salvage these curtains, which are in great shape, it's a super heavy upholstery fabric, um, they are lined, which are great. And then we also have shears that go underneath and they also have that same triple pleat. So in order um, to keep everything going together and just really use something that is working, it's just the aesthetic that I don't like. Uh, let's give this a whirl. First change the pleats and then hopefully paint them. In case you're wondering what a triple pleat is, so this is on the curtain kind of spread out and then this is on a part of the curtain where it's really, um, all the hooks are together. So this is what the French pleat looks like. Okay, so it's sewn like this. It's gathered together to where it kind of has this triple um, fabric fold. And then on ours, it is sewn on either side to keep it like that. And then it is tucked with a little bit of thread right in there. Can you see that? This color is very hard <laughs> with the uh, daylight to kind of show you. All right, so here we go. I am going to be using a seam ripper and turning the triple pleats that look like that into a more modern looking pleat that looks like that. Now I've already started on one of these curtain panels because I just wanted to see if it was gonna work or not and I was very pleased with the results. So I stopped because I knew I wanted to video more of it. So let's show you how to do this. So first of all, I'm going to kind of just expose that little bit of thread that is holding these triple pleats together and cut through it. Now a seam ripper does a great job. I was actually doing it with uh, manicure scissors before because those were tiny. So you just kind of get underneath that thread can you see that there? And then just, just break that and then open it up. Get these little bits of thread out of there. Let's see, it's kind of hard to do this one handed, <laughs> but I'll finish that up in a little bit. But after you get that out, all these little bits of thread, then the pleat releases but you still have kind of what this looks like. It doesn't look much better to me. It just looks like a hot mess. And what you want to do is kind of pinch this out. So for me, this up here is super thick. Like it's almost like it has like a double thickness of fabric. I don't know if they have an interfacing in there to make it stronger or not. But instead of keeping it to where it was pleated like that. Can you see that? That's how it was before and it was attached with thread. You just simply kind of push that out and then you're gonna have a more modern flat pleat, but you still have all of these um, creases in there. So I'll show you how to get those creases out and make sure that the modern pleat actually stays like that. Now to get rid of those creases, I am going to be using a handheld steamer. Now I was always very hesitant about ever getting one of these. And then when I had to start getting wrinkles out of curtains after moving, I figured this, this was just the easiest way to do it. And it is. This cost me uh, less than $15. I'm going to put a link below. I don't know what the price is at this time, but it is worth it. Let me tell you, it actually 
You don't have to put anything on an ironing board. It takes a way less time to actually get creases out of anything using a handheld steamer. And the plug is like super long. So you can plug it in and then still be, you know, doing something a little bit away. The steam lasts for a long time. I mean, it just works fabulously. Now you can iron out creases on the pleats if you want. It's just going to take a really long time. And I think time is worth, you know, investing in a handheld steamer. And then you can use this for other things. You can also freshen up pillows and clothes and whatnot. So again, I'm going to put links below. You can iron if you want, but just see how easy it is once I'm going to use this steamer. All right, this is going to be really hard to try to film this <laughs> and hold a handheld steamer. But essentially what I'm going to be doing is just going in and just kind of, well, usually it doesn't have that much water. <laughs> yeah, this is really hard to do it. Um, I need some help in filming. But I'm just going to come back in and I'm just going to just kind of smooth each section. I'm going to hold it taut while I'm doing that, so I'm going to have to do that two-handed. But then it's going to appear like this, and I will show you the finished results after. So you can see that the steam is kind of releasing the creases. This would be going a little bit faster if I was using my other hand and holding it taut. But when you're trying to do it one-handed, <laughs> it does look good. And then you can see it's more modern pleats that I've been creating. And I still have all of the triple pleats to take care of on this panel. So two helpful hints if you're gonna use the steamer. It, there's probably gonna be condensation if you do this while it is on the rod, which is gonna be the easiest way to do it. So just be sure to go in and wipe that off, especially like underneath any of the curtain hooks. So that is super simple. And then also when using the steamer, never, never pull it taut above the steamer. So if you had your hand with the steamer down here, never put your hand above it because that steam is super hot and it gets really hot even if you're several inches above. So always hold the curtain taut if you're trying to do that and then be steaming above it. And now this is what all the pleats look like after I've steamed them and released the triple pleat. Way more modern Okay, so this is how it looks now. The triple pleats are out. The more modern pleats are there. I think it looks much better considering this was an absolutely no cost fix to get rid of the old fashioned pleats. I think it looks really good. Now I do have a two-step process to make these curtains look better um, and that is to change the color. And so hopefully the painting will work as well because I'd really love to save a couple thousand dollars of having to replace the curtains. If not, then we'll just go ahead and do it, and at least we tried. But like I said, this is a no-cost way of fixing that, and I think it looks really good. So if you ever had to take pleats out of a curtain or have any tips or tricks for anybody, be sure to put that in the comments below. And if you like the look of this curtain, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and I would love if you subscribed to my channel. It's a new channel, and we're just getting going. So take care, everybody. Bye.